a teammate, man. Man, it's a real honor, you know, uh, to be playing for this team, uh, to be playing with this group of guys. It, it means a lot. Um, and my teammates have been a big help, you know, and get me transition from learning the ropes uh, to learning the game. And, you know, I, they couldn't have been more gracious. Um, I played all right tonight. <laughs> so I, I hope that I can, I can build on this and, and that we can uh, keep winning some games. All right, guys. Man, last game was stupid, dog. Stupid game, man. Stupid, dog. <sighs> Come on. Let me guess. Press conference? You know it. You ready? Yeah, I think so. Just a second. AI, hey, congrats on getting the start. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So how's it feel to finally make the starting lineup? My teammate, man. Man, it's a real honor, you know, uh, to be playing for this team, uh, to be playing with this group of guys. It, it means a lot. Um, and my teammates have been a big help, you know, and get me transition from learning the ropes uh, to learning the game. And, you know, I, they couldn't have been more gracious. Um, I played all right tonight, <laughs> so I, I hope that I can I can build on this and, and that we can uh, keep winning some games. I think that's it. Thank you. Thanks, AI. We'll talk later. All uh... right. It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Portland Trailblazers up against the Lakers in Los Angeles. And for Los Angeles, it's been a rough start to the season. On one hand, the mishaps have generated valuable learning opportunities. On the other hand, you can't fall so far behind in the standings that the year's over before it's begun. Well, the talk of the past few days, the play of AI, outstanding in his first full NBA season. Sheck, are you convinced that he is, in fact, the real deal? I'm not like uh, my good friend Kenny over there who sees one person do one play and then automatically calls him Superman. I like what I see, but I want to see more before making that judgment. Yeah, he's been hot. But let's see him do it over a sustained period of time. Well, you know what? It's hard to imagine that a player with his upside was just sitting overseas. That's, a, that's, that's incredible. It, but he's put the work in. He's improved. And the league is now his for the taking. That wraps it up from here. Thanks for joining us. We will see you later. Yep. I got this, man. It's crazy. All right, come on, man. Let's go. Let's go, man. Hey, I go get him. I fly. I fly, man. Come on, come on, let's just go. It's a Western Conference matchup as the Portland Trailblazers come into town in this game. We're happy to have you with us for 2K Sports midweek presentation of NBA basketball. Welcome everyone to the broadcast. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. Well, thanks very much. Now, after college, AI spent some time in the Chinese Basketball League. He found himself and built confidence there, and he was successful there when he played. 
and you know plenty of players in that league will now try to follow his path. Guys? David, thank you for that. From all accounts, he was a solid member of that Shanghai team. Yeah, and for undrafted players, there are now a handful of options to get into the NBA beyond the draft, the G League, and also playing overseas. And the Trailblazers start out with the ball. This season, right now in the beginning stages, but some teams, Chris, already exceeding expectations. How do they keep that momentum? How do they keep things Aye. rolling along in that way? Uh, you, you have to do that in the locker room Aye, practice. Run, man. You have to make sure that you stick to the coach's rules and roles. And have to remember, your success was built and predicated upon doing it the right way. And so how do you make sure you keep that focus, you pay attention to details, and especially the little things, and stick with the basics? Kind of shy the All fueled up. How you make that? Up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the floor for Portland, Lillard and McCullum, the deadly backcourt pairing. Al Farouk Amino is out there with Nurkic, and it's Lehman in at the three. And he wasn't going to get away with that one. Still in motion when he set that screen. He even knew he wasn't in good position. He tried to slide himself into a better spot. The official wasn't happy. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Rondo against Lillard. Passes to Aminu. Pass to McCollum. He kicks to Nurkic. That falls. Ice feed that time from McCollum. Uh, uh, yeah, Kevin. Great court awareness from the crafty guard McCollum. I mean, a good teammate who likes hitting his open guys. Now here's Rondo. Guarded close. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. The pass to McCollum. Back to Lillard. McCollum kicks to Aminu. Back to McCollum. Here's the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Uh, you got to know McCollum is looking to fire off the pass. This is why you must play up on him. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. LeBron passes to Harris. That one's off. Still out of sync. <laughs> The Trailblazers oh have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Here's McCollum. Lays it up off the glass. McCollum's got five now. That's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect four for four start for them. Now they're just getting all the shots they want. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. James left side. And here's Harris from the arc. Los Angeles with another miss. <laughs> and there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That's his first foul. He can't score, yo. Trailblazers have gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Lillard outside. McCollum finds Lillard. Shot clock at five. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. AI passes to Kuzma. Connects from Thank the three-point range. Point. Kuzma's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Lillard with no one around. And the Trailblazers, another three. Now with his ability to accelerate, defenders have to be careful against Lillard. It's either give him the three or risk the blow by. Rondo dishes to LeBron. The baseline J. And he hits the jump shot. James has got his first basket. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Lillard misses. Lakers trail by seven. Puts up a three. Portland grabs the miss. Norkic has got four rebounds now tonight. To the middle. Aminu against Kuzma. That's a two from Lillard. That one drops for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Outside Rondo. Oh, 
Lillard with the rebound. For Portland, they won their last contest that game against Boston. Launches a three. Nailed wow. from the point land. What is going on? Lillard's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Trailblazers. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Uh, well, make no mistake, Dame Litter is this team's leader. I mean, he stepped right into the role after Aldridge left town. Even while Aldridge was in town, he was a leader. I mean, he has done a fantastic job leading the way on the floor and in the locker room. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. A 12-point game. Come on, come on, man. Down low. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Last time they met was in Portland this season. Yeah, and fortunately for them, I, I thought the opponent's defense just never showed up. Oh, but I like that they attacked those weaknesses. They made them pay for a lackluster effort. Here's Aminu. And despite that miss, a wow. strong start for them offensively. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Rondo kicks to LeBron. Can they get it? That shot off. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. Their last game, a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. And the story of that game was their terrific rhythm on the offensive end. Well, it started with their energy. They played with a lot of it. And then on the other end, they looked very comfortable getting their shots. And Al Farouk Aminu gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. See, Webb, when you look at how basketball is taught at early levels for these kids, middle school and then high school, anything there that you would change? Yes, I would change to developing all players and taking away positions. Interesting. When you are young and you're in, let's say, third grade and you're the tallest player on the team and I make you a center and I pull you to one end and I only show you how to make layups, I don't show you how to shoot threes or to dribble, I'm assuming that your body is always going to stay the same. And I believe the coaches should teach a great on? skill set, shooting, passing, dribbling. And when you do that, a player can then become the full player they're intended to be instead of teaching incrementally where a player may get stuck and identified as this type of player his whole time. I Come think on. that really what you need to do is teach full skill sets and allow players to develop. Just think if someone would have said, Kevin Durant, you can only shoot layups. We wouldn't be able to see the true unicorn that he is. Wonderful thought. Loads it up for AI. Thank you. An emphatic LU jam. Come on. The precision passing of James. Incredible watching him thread the needle in the pick and roll. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Havoc. Pick coming, pick coming, pick coming. McCollum feeling it out a bit. Six to shoot. <laughs> Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So Just one free throw up. coming up. Kick me out, man. Just kick me out. I don't want to play. The Portland's game, gone seven of nine on three pointers tonight. Outstanding mark from long range. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second quarter. They've got Ennis Cantor. Arkless is out there with Myers Leonard. Then it's Rodney Hood. And it's Lillard in at the one. Knocked away, stolen by Ball. And here's the fast break, Ball leading the way. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Yeah, and they show an man. aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Lillard with it, now guarded by Ball. Lillard finds Hood. And here is Harkless, back to Hood. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. And it's Lillard missing. Tough to hit that shot when the D is all over you like that. Ball against Lillard. Floats it up for AI. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. I don't care. And a wide open look for Hood. No good off the back of the rim. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. 
Well, I like the decision making, though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. Ingram kicks the ball. Ingram outside. Just five to shoot. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Not suddenly. I mean, Ingram uses his size and athleticism getting to the paint. Hood, the pass to Lillard. Back to Hood. Pass to Lillard. Kicks to Harkless. Back to Lillard from deep. Bucket. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Three triples in the first quarter, but he's yet to knock one down here in the second. Now, here's Ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Back to Caldwell Pope. Inside, AI. And it's sent back by Leonard. And they're able to recover. Here's Hood. They get a hand on it. Cantor's shot is off. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Ingram outside. That shot, no good. Excellent D from Cantor. Here's Lillard. Doesn't go for him. And it's the Lakers the other way. When this game is done, they'll be off to Orlando and they'll take on the Magic. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Lillard against Ball. Back to Ingram. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Ingram's got six. Go too, you gotta play up on Ingram, especially when he's looking to shoot from the mid-range area. Well, come on. You give Magic Johnson credit. Uh, the City of Angels. Uh, the Lakers wanted to make a big splash in free agency, and, and they did. <laughs> landing the biggest free agent that they could. Look, landing LeBron that instantly made their offseason a success. I mean, it, it took a lot to recruit LeBron. Uh, give Magic Johnson credit. Uh, but this franchise has been the talk uh, since he signed on. And the Lakers call time here. And the Lakers wasted, Chris, no time filling the rest of the roster with veterans. Yeah, yeah Kevin, and with LeBron on board, uh, I think that's a solid idea. Look, look the Lakers didn't I land another huge free agency open. target. We all know that. I but they did do a good job of building the team around LeBron. I mean, they have a nice blend of youth and veterans on this roster. And, and with LeBron, uh, <laughs> as we know, you never know. That could work. Caldwell Pope wishes to AI. Terrific <laughs> assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Lillard outside. Passes it to Hood for the three, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got three assists now in this one. The Lakers have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Ball against Lillard. Floats it up for AI. Caldwell Poe passes the ball. Shoots over Lillard. That one wide left. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Pass to Hood. Cantor kicks to Hood. The pass to Lillard. Launches a three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. He hasn't been his best this quarter. Hood against Caldwell Pope. He dishes it to AI. The shot off that time. Great tee that time from Leonard. Leonard? He do nothing. Lillard against Ball. Lillard finds Harkless. Fires from deep. And Damian Lillard, good for the three. Lillard's got 14 points. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And yep. the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Cantor. So close to getting the steal there, but the deflection equally as effective. Oh, man, yeah, he read it all the way. He got a jump on it. Very close. 
James checked in for the Lakers. Josh Hart comes in for Ingram. Portland's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Here's Leonard. Hood trying to break free. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. You know the saying, numbers don't lie. Thank you. you see it up there on the scoreboard. And you gotta clog up any passing lanes around ball, especially in that pick and roll. He knows how to slice the D apart in those sets. Knocks it loose. Left side, Hood. Here's Harkless. And another three for Portland. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Well, in recent years, C-Web players have flirted with quadruple doubles, but they're just so elusive. I mean, you've got to do a lot to get those kind of numbers. Now think about it. Embiid and Westbrook have both come close. Well, Westbrook comes mine. close to That's anything it. with a double at the end of it. And Draymond <laughs> Green, he missed once uh, on, on points. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's so hard to do. I, I just remember that Akeem, the dream Olajuwon uh, did it, but you think about it. You're exerting so much energy, communication, and passion in that game. That's why it's so tough to, to, to do. And by the way, players are really good. So how are you going to get those 10 rebounds, 10 assists, 10 blocks? Right, yeah. Uh, or whatever else you yeah. can get along. I got to get mine. Yeah, so elusive. Yeah. Hits the moving target with the lead pass. He made it look so easy. McCollum with the ball. 17 points for him last game against Boston. He kicks it to Nurkic. Over AI. Ooh. And That's it's that. AI with the rebound. Lakers have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. LeBron passes to AI. Yeah. That shot off. Great D that time from Nurkic. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That's his third foul of the game. Los Angeles making a switch here. Harris has checked in. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. No good with the triple. Looking at Los Angeles, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Atlanta Hawks. And that one, good. Oh, fantastic vision. I mean, Brown always cognizant of everyone around him. Yep, I got to get mine, man. And Lillard gets double teamed, and the call will be against Harris. That's his first foul. Here's Aminu. Shoots over Kuzma. Aminu with the bucket. Aminu's got seven points. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Harris kicks to Ronda. To the inside. LeBron dishes to AI. And oh, here we go. McCollum's got it. The fast break chance. Here's Nurkic. And finish off by Nurkic. Great game for him. Double, double down. 10 points and 10 rebounds. Oh, and all Nurkic needs is good positioning. Once he has this, dunking is easy. Alert against Rondo. Loads it up for AI. <laughs> Throws down the alley oop slam. And when you're open, Rondo finds you. Always has his head on a swivel. McCollum against Harris. And the call will go against Corey Harris. That's foul number two for him. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. And he's still scoreless in this quarter. Surprising after his great start. Inside, it's stolen by Aminu. And out of bounds, <laughs> Los Angeles gains possession. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. Taking a look at Houston. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And when you look at Los Angeles, they believe they can be more competitive than they've shown. It's still very early in the season, so the optimism for a successful run is still there.
And it's encouraging whenever McCollum scores inside, proving that he's more than just a jump shooter. Rondo with the ball. Lillard picks him up and stolen by Lillard. By himself and Damian Lillard with the jam. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Well, well, hey, fellas, that's just like it's supposed to work. Don't give the D a chance to set up. Six to shoot. Harris passes to Kuzma. Shoots. Here's AI. Nurkic with the block. Oh, this is the impact Nurkic makes on the defensive end. Effective at reaching out and stifling shooters. Harris finds Rondo. Here's Kuzma. Craps in the tray. Kuzma's got eight points. Man. What are you going to do defensively? Such separation with the height advantage in that matchup. 110 left in the first half of basketball. Harris against McCollum. Over Harris. And again, it's Portland converting. Well, he's played a smart and strong game. His field goal percentage proves it. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Lakers. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. And you know what? A shame that either team had to lose that game because you had to be proud of the way they battled in it. Uh, yeah, it was a coin flip game. Both teams had chances to win. They pushed them as far as overtime. They ran out of gas. And Stevenson's checked in for James. Harris outside. From deep three-point range. Rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Pass to Lillard. Now here's Nurkic. The tray. But they'll get another chance. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And Aminu kicks to McCollum. Over Harris. They get it again. Nurkic. And at last, they get one to fall. And good luck trying to keep Nurkic off the glass. I mean, using his brute strength well on the offensive boards. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. One guy who's getting it done is Lillard. His points production thus far off the charts. It's only been two quarters. Just a great effort for him for the entire half. Yeah, right. I mean, the defense hasn't had an answer for this guy yet. Just too skilled, too driven thus far. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Rajon Rondo is out there with Harris. And it's AI in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And that's the group for Luke Walton as we begin the second half. Uh, well, I only got one one thing to say. I mean, uh, if you hate LeBron, keep hating. I, I mean, didn't he accomplish everything he wanted to in Cleveland? He brought them their first chip in 50 years, took them to multiple uh, uh, finals. Uh, I think it felt that he could make the switch uh, to the Lakers uh, with a good conscience. I mean, it's hard to argue that he didn't give Cleveland everything he had at this time. I mean, it, it was just time to move on. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, since the rise of the Warriors, we've seen a fair amount of soul searching by the league's other contenders. There is incredible pressure to shake things up. Now, sometimes it can elevate a team, but we have often seen it also can tear a team apart. It can be fragile for sure, David. Thank you so much. 
And for LeBron, this decision to come to L.A. was less about C. Webb, his legacy, and more about his life. I mean, he wanted a new challenge. Right? Let's you. think about it. He gets to play in the West for the first time. That's a different style of play. I mean, it's the biggest market he's ever been in. Uh, he can take advantage uh, of life off the court uh, for once. I mean, he's close to his son who plays in high school in L.A. Uh, you know he's a family man. Uh, and the Lakers had a lot to offer LeBron beyond the basketball. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That is his first foul of the game. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Aminu with the bucket. Oh, wow. Over time, Aminu has really developed his jumper. I mean, the defense has to do a better job of guarding. Harris against McCollum. Harris dishes to Rondo. LeBron outside. Pass to Kuzma over Aminu. That's short off the rim. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Kicks it out to McCollum. This one for three. And it's AI with the rebound. AI's got six rebounds now in the game. Rondo against Lillard. Here's Kuzma, and Kuzma slams it in. Wow, you see how fast he got off the ground? I love whenever Kuzma rises up to throw it down. Lillard, the pass to Nurkic. McCollum outside. Hits it from three-point range. McCollum's got 14. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. And you see he's not worried about what's on the scoreboard. He just wants to go ham each possession. Here's James. And that one drops for him. LeBron's got his second bucket tonight. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Harris against McCollum. Over Harris. Again, McCullough missing. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Well, not all defenses are constructed to protect the mid-range area. Nicely done that time. James in the post. Again, Los Angeles. LeBron taking what's offered for mid-range. Throughout his career, he's all about the best shot available. McCollum kicks to Aminu. To the paint. Here's Lillard. Made that one. It's his seventh of the contest. Seven for 15 from the floor. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. And defensively, you know he's feeling good right now. And, and, and as the opposing team, you better adjust your scheme accordingly. Timeout called the Lakers. You know, see, we have every player wants to play in a system where what they do best is always highlighted. It brings out their strong points. What are some of the plays or actions that best suited your skills when you play? One of the things that I needed was a great point guard. So whether it was Rod Strickland, whether it was Avery Johnson in Golden State, of course, my man Jay Will. And that was guys that could get me the ball, that would trust, that would throw it up. Also, then that I could handle the ball, draw a double team, and get it out to them, and they could knock down the shot. Having a great shooter like Apasia would allow me to grab a double team and to look for him on the opposite side. So I needed teams that had great ball movement, that had players that could knock down the open shot, and then a team that could run would allow me to push the break or allow me to fill in the break and kind of do everything. Teams that would allow me to be positionless and not just be rigid or old in their ways and say we play old traditional basketball that doesn't allow anyone to flourish with what they've been working on in the offseason. Back to McCollum. Takes the three. The three-pointer is right on target. McCollum's got nine points now in the quarter. And now he's starting to get it going. Four three-pointers in the game for him, and three have come in this half. Ball against Lillard. Here's AI. Nurkic with the block. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And the basket by McCollum. He is dominating this quarter. He sees a soft spot in the D, and he's attacking it. 
And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Kicks it to ball. He's looking for James and finds him. To the middle. Here's AI. And he gets the whistle. Oh, Two free throws coming up. While we have a break in the action, now let's check out the league's best shooting teams. The Lakers, number one. Are just tremendously disciplined offensively, always looking for the best possible shot. That's how they've gotten that field goal percentage to skyrocket. Josh Hart, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Leonard, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. Harkless comes in for Lillard. Terry Stotts, the head coach for the Blazers, he has earned the trust of this roster. Yeah, if you talk to the players on his team, Kevin, they believe in the system that he runs. He is always willing to give players a chance to earn minutes and is up front with them. Playing under Stotts, you know that if you work hard and improve, he'll take notice and adjust the rotations accordingly. And Ennis Kanter picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Tyson. Not too long ago, C-Web, triple-doubles were widely celebrated. Now you see much more of them uh, all over the league. What's been the change there, do you think? I think the change has been the style of play and the removal of the big men. Being that there are no longer uh, you know, a slew of seven-footers in there rebounding, guards can come in there and do some amazing things in rebounding. And, and I'm amazed with Westbrook coming in and rebounding over the seven-footers. You also have better spacing. And so if I'm a one-on-one -on -one player, I get past my guy. I can trust it that if I throw it to a wide-open shooter now because of the way that we've drawn the defenses in, there may be a few more open looks. And so I still respect it. I still respect the energy, uh, the focus, um, the fact that you you have to be all over the floor to do it. But, you know, besides the fact that there's longer threes taken or besides the fact that there's more small lineups, uh, I, I still think it's a feat to be uh, respected, even though we're seeing uh, an increase in them now. On the court for the Trailblazers, they've got Seth Curry. Al Farouk Amino is out there with Evan Turner. Then there's Myers Leonard. And it's Simons in at the two. Just four to shoot. And again, the Lakers, no good. Nothing, and they just this tried everything ever. to stem the tide here, but nothing seems to work. Yeah, trying to recapture momentum. When the tide's running against you, very difficult to do. What will the young kids say today? Ride that wave. The shot by Turner, no good. Yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. Oh, wonderful anticipation. He reads the play perfectly, then with the quick reaction time. Bullock dishes to AI. Can they get it? And he uses the glass on the layup. AI's got 20 points. Well, he's doing his best to get them back into this game. He's been money from the field. Portland's gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three point attempts here in the fourth. Pass to Aminu. And some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. And it's Simons missing. LA has gotten just one of four three pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. AI passes to Hart. He kicks it to Ball. Down low. Here's AI. And no good that time. Great <laughs> that time from Leonard. Curry passes to Simons. The shot's good. Beautiful lead pass. The finisher never has to break stride. And for the Lakers, they're shooting 43% from the field. Now the pass to Bullock. Back to AI. Makes it off the glass. AI's got four points now in the quarter. Oh, terrific pass work. That shot's a lot easier after an assist like that. The Trailblazer shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Outside Turner. Here's Leonard. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That's foul number two for him. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that.
Nice work, guys. Awesome. AI, go ahead and get changed. Meet me in the press conference room. They got a lot of questions for you. Got you. Thanks, Charlie.